are straight, blonde or brunette, your hair is your crown in glory. Do you have dull, boring, and lifeless hair? Not anymore! Shalom! Erza Ulep here, grade 10 TLE teacher of hairdressing 2. Welcome to our online class. Today, I will be showing you how to perform basic hair coloring. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to gather all the things needed in applying hair color. Prepare the clients prior to treatment and perform actual application of coloring and post-coloring activity. In order for you to do this, you will be needing the following tools, materials, and cosmetic products and equipment. Let's get started! Oxidizer or developer, a product that's mixed with color to activate it and enable it to penetrate the hair cuticle. Coloring agent, used to provide hair color with a vibrant look. Comb brush, used to distribute color evenly and accurately on the hair. Mixing bowl, hold and mix coloring agent and developer together. Sectioning clip, these are used to section the hair to make applying the color easier. Ear cup, for ear protection. Apron, for self-protection from getting stained. Gloves, to protect our hands and wrist area. Towels, for covering and drying hair. Cape, a water-resistant fabric to prevent clients from getting wet. Shampoo bowl, for easy washing hair. Hair blower, to fasten drying the hair and making it shiny. Are you ready class? But take note, hair coloring involves the application of a variety of potentially harmful chemicals. Therefore, the care you take in handling products and preparing yourself and the client is absolutely critical to safe and successful coloring. Ensure all tests are carried out. So firstly, prepare the client by asking her to remove her jewelries, wear masks, ear cups, and drape the towel and waterproof cape around her shoulder. Next, comb the hair to remove knots and tangles. Divide the hair into four quadrants or sections, from the center forehead down to the nape, and from ear to ear. Secure it with sectioning clip. Then get a thin section of hair Apply hair coloring half inch away from the scalp Comb through and rub it with the finger to distribute the color evenly
Repeat the steps until all parts are coated with coloring products. In this application, since my client wants to have lighter shades of hair color, I use 12% of developer to achieve lighter lift of color. If client wants to have dark shades, use 9% and 6% if the client has gray or white hair for it will produce deeper or darker shades. When applying hair color, do not direct it from the roots or scalp for it may cause so much brightness cause our scalp has natural heat so wait for 5 to 10 minutes before applying to the root but if your client has white hair you need to start at the roots cause gray or white hair has strong resistance to color Wait for 10 minutes, then reapply hair coloring, but this time, go or secure the roots down to the ends of the hair. Then wait for another 20 minutes until you reach the desired color. After 20 minutes, Check the hair strand, and if you achieve the desired color, proceed to rinsing. When rinsing, shampoo hair to remove all chemicals and rinse thoroughly, but do not scrub or scratch the scalp and hair. Be gentle to prevent tangles and scalp irritation. Then squeeze excess water from the hair. Towel dry the hair. By using this method, we can remove the excess water from the hair so that the keratin treatment or the conditioner will not be diluted. That's why we use this method. After rinsing and conditioning, proceed to hair drying by using clean towel. Squeeze excess water from the hair gently and finger comb the hair. Do not use comb or brush in this stage of hair, for the hair is very fragile in this stage. After 2-3 to three minutes, set hand blower in low temperature and dry the hair. Then use round or puddle brush to give extra volume and shape. Ta-da! You're done! I know you can do this in the comfort of your room. Just make sure that you have all the necessary tools, materials, equipment, and products needed. And always follow the manufacturer's instruction. Make sure that the client is comfortable throughout as they will be sitting for some considerable time. If you have any question and clarification, don't hesitate to ask. And remember class, you are fearfully and wonderfully made by God. Thank you and have a blessed day.